How's it going guys? Uh, pipe smoke community. Today I'm going to be talking about a pipe that I've purchased and I enjoy. Uh, I did want to do a review though about it because there's some things I've learned about this pipe that I would like to share with you guys. Maybe if you're looking at this pipe, um, you've seen it online and you're interested in purchasing it. Um, well, this video is going to be for you. Um, the French pipe, uh, you can buy them on a few different websites. For me, I buy them on tobaccopipes.com. I'll put the dis uh, link in the description below. Fantastic website. Their customer service is great. Their shipping's fast, and they have a lot of things to choose from. Um, with that being said, I ordered two uh, of these French pipes from their website, and uh, they're fantastic pipes. I will say they do get a little hot. So just be cautious of that. Don't be ripping them. They do get warm. I don't know if that's just from the material or if just from me ch chugging on the pipes all the time. But um, they're nice once you get them broken in. Um, there is a nice little kind of carbon cake I have going on on the inside. Not a crazy one, but and same with this one. So I've kind of broken them in. Um, the cool thing about these is that they do take filters. So they take six millimeter filters. Um, Here's, here's a catch though, I've learned this recently, because I haven't tried, uh, but they when you buy them, they give you uh, six millimeter filters, um, and they're different from your Savinelli ones, which kind of, they'll look like this, excuse me. So this is your Savinelli kind of one, and they kind of come in a triangle. The French ones come in this kind of shape, uh, it's still six millimeters, but they're just different, a um, little, little bit different. And what I found is that when you try to use the Savinelli filters in them, it doesn't work. Um, but when you use these ones, they work. Um, so I'm kind of in a predicament right here as to what happens when I run out of these French filters because they don't make them. You can't find them anywhere. If anyone can find these filters anywhere, put a link in the description below. Or put a link in the comments because I, I just can't, I can't find a filter that's six millimeter that's like that at the moment. So a um, little worried as to what's to come when I get down to the last filters. But uh, I usually uh, for the videos when I'm reviewing, I will change them out every smoke just so I don't contaminate any flavors or anything like that. But when I'm smoking just by myself, I just I'll smoke these. I don't know, probably three three to five times, three to five times until it gets really gunky. That's when you get it out and then you, you know, clean it up, obviously clean your pipe and everything. But, um, it's a great pipe, easy to clean. I really enjoy just how easy it is to clean. Um, obviously when you get all your pipes, make sure to always clean them when you first get them. Um, they smoke great. They're cheap. Um, and the one thing I liked about them is that when you get them, they come with a nice little bag, they come with a lot of filters, and they come with matches, and they're long matches. I don't have them with me at the moment, but um, they kind of give you a kind of mix of everything for, for the price you're paying for. You're only spending, these pipes go for 40 bucks online, and they're very cheap and really nice quality for the price that they're made. Um, they clench really nicely when you're, you know, they, they're, they, they're not super heavy, um, easy to clean, cheap. I, I don't know what more I can say about these. Um, personally, I like to have kind of one pipe for every flavor. So I got, when I first, these are like my first two pipes that I, I, I kind of got. And um, they were, uh, one was for vanilla and then one was for like different varieties. Like this one's for Virginia's and Burley's and stuff like that. Mainly just for Virginia's though. Um, this one is just vanilla. Um, I'm mainly a vanilla aromatic guy. So usually when I buy pipes, I'll buy two and I'll buy one for vanilla and one for something else because I still want to have a cool new pipe for vanilla. Um, but at the same time, I want to have a different one so I don't ruin my pipe for vanilla. Um, so yeah, this is, uh, this was the, I think this is like the three, the French three and the French seven. I could be wrong though. They have a variety of different, um, pipes that they make and, um, they're all cool looking and they're all cheap and affordable. Um, I, I don't like the word cheap because when you say cheap, it means 
not good. Like it's cheap, it's not good. Um, but these are great pipes, uh, specifically if you're a beginner or you're just interested in, um, in, in looking at, to get a pipe, I would recommend these ones. Um, really not much else to say about this. This is gonna be a short video, but I hope it was super helpful for you guys. Um, Again, I'll put the links in the description below if you do want to purchase these. They're great pipes, and I recommend them to everyone, except for the fact that the filters. I just don't know. I I know there's something out there. I know there's something out there, and I will update you guys when I figure that out. But, um, like, I found out that you can use a 7LE one. You can, but you have to work it. You have to edge the corners, and you kind of have to finick around with it and roll it around, kind of make it small. And what you're gonna do is, see I just put a new filter in, but I'm gonna take this one out. And you might wanna cut it, you might wanna cut a little bit. I just find that if you kind of put it in and you just nudge it up a little bit, it kind of helps. See? So it definitely does work. It's just something that you have to just keep in mind. You know what I mean? Um, and it's not like it's super tight in there. It's pretty loose. Um, not the end of the world, though. Not the end of the world. You know? So. Doop. All right. Anyway, the French pipe. Great pipes. Would recommend. Hope this video was helpful for you guys. And, uh. It's a, it's a nice little short video. Smoke a pipe. Have a good one. Till next time.